Lena and today I'm going to be doing a collaboration video with beautiful, talented, sweet Miss Queenie. I'm so happy to be doing this video with her. If you haven't seen her videos before, you are missing out. She is so artistic and creative. She is so beautiful inside and out. For our collaboration, she did Date Night Spring Makeup Look and I did the Colorful Spring Look. Please go check out her video, subscribe to her channel, and like her video! Today's look is a little bit more daring, but I hope you guys try it out and let's get started! I've already toned my face, applied eye cream, serum, and moisturizer. And my face is really puffy today because I cried last night. And I'm applying Becca's Ever Matte Poreless Primer. This is seriously the best primer for oily skin. I only apply it on the oily area of my face. In the other area, I apply the Tarte BB Primer. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply Tarte Full Coverage Foundation in medium neutral. And I bought the Tarte brush, but I like my uh, Real Technique Expert Face Brush. I feel like I can get into the crevices of my face using the brush. Next, I'm going to highlight and conceal my crazy dark circles. And I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. And I'm going to set my concealer and foundation using NARS Crystallized Translucent Loose Powder. And I'm going to do my brows. This is my holy grail Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. This shade is a little bit dark, so I'm going to apply a brow mascara on top. This one is clear, and I'm going to apply the second one. This one is a blonde brow mascara. Since it's tinted, it's going to color your brows without bleaching your brows. So I really like it. I'm carefully applying this only on my brow hairs. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes. As usual, I'm going to be using Soft Ochre from MAC, the paint pot. And I'm going to carve my brows and prime with that primer. <laughs> and I'm using a bone color shadow to set my primer. You can use any bone color shade that you have. Just make sure it's matte or satin. Next, I'm going to take Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. And I'm using a big fluffy brush and applying that on my crease and above my crease and slightly bringing it towards the inner corners. Please keep in mind that you don't have to use the same products that I used. I just have these, so that's why I use them. Next, I'm going to use Bamboo from MAC and I'm actually applying that color on the same areas that I applied the previous color. I'm trying to create a more gradient look so it looks more blended. Then I'm going to take Myler from MAC. This is an off-white color. Using the same brush, I'm going to highlight the brow bone. Next, I'm going back with the Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and blending those two colors out. Then I'm taking the color Cupcake from Makeup Geek again and I'm using a smaller tapered brush. This is the Coastal Sense 250 and I'm applying that to my crease and slightly above my crease. This is a beautiful dusty rose shade that goes really well with purple colors. After applying this color, I'm going to go back with a bigger fluffy brush and blend it out. Next, I'm taking the Jaclyn Hills Morphe Palettes shade. This is the second shade from the left on the very last row. Basically, it's a violet shade. Using the same 250 brush from Coastal Sense, I'm applying that above the crease, just slightly over the crease and on the crease. I'm applying the color right above the crease, so whenever I open my eyes, it will show through. Next, I'm going to take the color from the Urban Decades Electric Palette, and it's the color Urban. And this is a beautiful purple and has a little bit of sheen. And I'm using Max 217 brush to apply this on my crease. Make sure you take the excess off on your wrist and apply it on the eyes. And go back and forth with the 250 brush and the 217 brush from MAC to apply and blend, apply and blend until you like how it looks. Make sure you don't get too carried away with this color because it's pretty pigmented. For the lips, I'm going to apply Lorac Pro's Light Pink Color. That's what it's called. And that's exactly what it is. And it's matte. And I'm applying that with a tapered flat brush and packing the color on and blending the edges out. Using a blending brush after I pack the color on. 
Lorac eyeshadows are very pigmented but super powdery and you get a lot of fallouts on the palette. So that's a little annoying. But anyways, I'm going to use the white color from the Lorac palette. And this is a matte white and I'm applying that to the tear duct area and blending the edges out. Next, I'm going to take the ColourPop shadow and this one is called Ibiza. It's so beautiful. And I'm taking a flat eyeliner brush and applying an eyeliner basically. It's like it's very comparable to applying a gel eyeliner because it has the same type of consistency. This brush makes it so easy for me to apply it though. You can control the thickness of your eyeliner. Um, I applied a medium thickness because I'll be applying strip lashes on top and I don't want the lash band to cover the eyeliner that I just applied. So I went for a medium thickness. But this color is gorgeous. I love it. Next, moving on to the bottom lash line, I'm going to use the Electric Palette color in Gonzo. And this is a beautiful turquoise bright neon blue. And I'm applying that carefully with the crown brush, bullet brush. And I didn't bring it all the way to the inner corners. I stopped at the outer corner of my iris and I blend it out using the blending brush. And next I'm going to take the color Chaos. This is a cobalt blue shade and I'm deepening the lash line and I'm applying this with the precision brush. And I apply this color really close to my lash line, almost tight lining, so my eyes will pop. After applying the cobalt blue color, I'm going to go back in with the bullet brush and blending everything out with the turquoise shade. I really adore this brush. This is a must in my makeup kit. Next, I'm going to take a white eyeliner and load that on the eyeliner brush. And I'm going to apply the white eyeliner under the winged eyeliner that I created with the ColourPop shadow. Because it was looking a little translucent, I applied a white eyeshadow on top of the eyeliner. And I touched up my inner tear duct and I'm applying Pixie Lux Lashes from House of Lashes. And for my bottom lashes, I chose these spiky single lashes from Japan that I got years and years ago. And I love these. I think these are perfect for today's look. And yeah, I'm glad that I rediscovered them in my makeup kit. Next, I'm going to move on to my face. I'm bronzing my face using the Tarte Matte Waterproof Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And I'm going to chisel my cheekbones and everything with Kevin Aqua sculpting powder and my nose too. Gotta make that nose look skinny. Next, I'm going to apply my new blush from Tarte. I told you I'm addicted to Tarte blushes. This one is called Celebrated and it's a muted peach color. Next, highlighter. Sorry, my video is going faster than my voiceover, but I'm applying a highlighter and this one is Luminous Light Highlighter from Hourglass. And I'm applying this with a fan brush and I did apply my nose highlight using my finger. Next, I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm using Jordana's Rock and Rose Lip Liner and outlining my lips. And I'm going to fill in my lips using LA Splash Cosmetics Smitten Lip Tint in Charmed. It's really hard to describe this shade. It's like a lavender nude color. And I'm all done! Yay! This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And please don't forget to check out my friend Queenie's video. Look how gorgeous she looks. It's crazy. I'm gonna go check out her video right now and watch her tutorial. Make sure to check out her video and subscribe and give her a like. Next time I see you, I'll be in Japan. I'm flying this Friday, so see you soon. Bye!